the Zugal boss fight uh, for the Witcher. Um. Uh, oh. Hell, I had a. Oh, now I remember my question. Um, if anyone does actually listen to these, what's the audio quality like? Because I'm really not sure. Because I can't judge the. Um. Okay, let me say it a bit more coherently. I can't judge the volume of my voice very well. As well, I'm. I'm very certain I'm an extremely monotone talker. Like. My voice is not, like, changed pitch very much, but when I listen to myself on the recordings, aside from still not entirely used to, whoa, this is this is how you sound on tape type of thing, I'm still not entirely sure on, like, how I sound in these. If anyone has any suggestions, I guess, say them, or put them in a comment or something, because I have a lot more of these to do with a lot more videos, so... If people actually watch these for the commentary, they can give me suggestions to make it a little bit better if I think the suggestions are at least good. So, aside from that, this is the Zugal. Um, I don't really know what the hell the thing actually is supposed to be, so... It looks like some sort of mutated octop octa octopi, I guess, with multiple mouths, so... What you're supposed to do is don't worry about the tentacles or arms or whatever the hell they are that are blocking the way in and out of the room. Uh, you can't do anything though with those. Those are meant to stop you. So what you do is, well, what I'm doing is I'm using my silver sword to attack the various tentacles. Uh, Triss will actually do stuff. I think she heals you every now and then, and as well as cast some uh, fire spells. But keep atta attacking the tentacles until the Zoogle's head comes up. And you just attack the thing until it gets... Yeah, until it disappears again like that. But one thing I'm wondering is... How deep is this water for it to just appear out of nowhere? I mean, it is a game and all, so... <coughs> Excuse me. It kind of makes sense for the tentacles to just... Kind of pop up out of nowhere, because those could have been, like lying across the ground or they can move around but the zoogle is like the head is pretty massive I don't know I don't know what the hell like how the hell is that thing hiding it's almost crazier than the Loch Ness monster which I think is supposed to be bigger than Loch Ness Ugh. Yeah, this fight is not very difficult. It's just a little weird since I'm not sure, like... Sometimes in a game you cannot tell when things are working correctly. Well, okay, you usually can, but... Uh, a, good, a good example of this is Final Fantasy. And, like, a lot of them. Like, where you get put into a boss fight or something that you can't win and you don't realize it. So, you think you're supposed to win. Yeah, like, okay, you know what I mean, I don't have to explain that. But, this, uh, maybe it was kind of a bad comparison. But, like, you can see when I attack it how it moves, but the hits are still connecting. Like, I don't know, I think, I'm not sure if that is working correctly, but, you know, it's still a fun game. Um... Probably the biggest problem with this fight is you will have trouble attacking the tentacles that pop out of the ground. And it's not so much of a problem as it is a slight annoyance. It's it's nothing major. It, it's not going to ruin your fun of the game. And really, if you have the raven's armor and a decent silver sword, even if you have the if you have arrow knight from the fourth chapter still, I think you should I think you will still be fine. I I didn't notice extreme differences between the weapons, mostly because I was upgrading the strength and the the different sword styles at that time. So and I didn't really know what was doing what to the character. But apparently they're trying to fix all of these problems with the second game, which is very good. And unfortunately the. I call it the third book in the Witcher series, but it's actually the second. Um, I consider Last Wish to be the first book since a lot of the characters, a lot of those characters return in Blood of Elves. 
but it's not coming out till 2011 in English, at least. And that's probably just the UK printing. I'm going to have to wait for the, probably another year for the US printing. Because the prices between them are so drastic, I would much rather wait for the US. The if you if you go on uh, chapters.ca, yeah, yeah 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 I'm Canadian, don't bug me about it. But um, the last wish or not the last wish the um, Blood of Elves, UK printing is like thirty dollars, the US printing is under ten. Which one are you gonna go for? Exactly like the US so or the US printing sorry, right um. I forgot to mention, uh, loot the Zoogle's body because you can find uh, alchemy items. And that corpse there has a lot of strong alcohols on him. And the Zoogle, I don't remember what it's called or what the ingredient is, but it's a mutagen that gives you one, uh, it gives you gold talent for sure. I'm not sure if it gives you anything else. Let's see here. Uh, it gives me a silver talent, and by the looks of it, I think I have a few bronze talents lying around. Oh yeah. Oh, by the end of the game, you can... Oh, I'm just leveling up normally with that. Okay. But pretty much by the end of the game, you will have most things nearly maxed out, which is really good. So, I mean, I, I'd prefer it if you could actually max out the character, but I don't know. I can kind of put up with it. Yeah, I'm... Alright, I'm going to see you in the next video. This is going too long.